What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having an amazing day today. Hope you're not about to steal your joy. Welcome to my Instagram for Life. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. So you guys, today's a beautiful day, and I'm super excited to be back with you guys. This is an update about my Nigerian trip. To this day, which is the what I'm filming this, the same day you guys are gonna see it, August 3rd, we still do not have the passport. We completed the appointment, everything that we were supposed to do and send them out in May. May 11th was when we sent them out. The government had it May 13th. That was when they started the processing. It is August 3rd. We still don't have the passport. That's the situation with it. I've had many reasons to be like frustrated about the situation. I've had every reason to be like, oh my gosh, you know, to feel so bad, like to hurt, to feel like this is something that has broken my heart. You know how... You expect something, you plan something, and you hope that it would all work out at the time that you're thinking would be best. And then it turns out it doesn't work out that way. And then you like, you feel heartbroken, you feel rejected, you feel like a big rock, you know what I mean, has been dumped on you and you're like splat on the ground. Yeah, I felt that way and I've been tempted to feel that way. But at the same time, I know that God has a hand in my life. And in everything that is happening in my life. So the reason that this didn't work out the way that I thought it should have, God knows. And I know that at the end of the day, it's all working out in my favor. With that being said, we're still going to Nigeria. We are. No matter what, we're still going to Nigeria. At this moment, I don't know when. But I know that we will know as soon as I have the passport of the kids in my hands. I'm still praying about it. I'm still trusting God that everything would work out. But at this moment, there's still no passport. I have some clients too who applied for passport. By the way, you guys, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay, let me digress. My hand, my hand is hurting right now. My shoulder is hurting from holding the camera up in my face like that. Okay, hold on. Let me digress a little bit, you guys, for you guys. So, uh, my travel business, you guys know, you've been following me. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, by the way, at Mariam's Joyful Life blog, if you're not following me, check it out. You know that I've, I've been, I've been a travel agent for three years under somebody else's franchise. I've been servicing and getting clients and building somebody else's business and stuff. And I realized it was time for me to purchase mine. I didn't have the money to purchase it. It's not cheap <laughs> to own a franchise, but I trusted God, I believe. I tried to get partners and different people to partner up with me because I was already established in the business. I would just show them the ropes and they would sponsor it with their finances. They'll bring the initial finance to it since I was already bringing so much discount and experience to it. I already had a pre-existing asset myself and the knowledge I have in this field. And of course, the discounts that I got as a, a, a being a travel agent, an active one. Anyways, I did everything, showed them the ropes and everything, but it ended up not working out like I thought another disappointment. It was easy for me to just give up and say, you know what, God, it's not working out. Everything is not working out for me, so I should just quit. But I refused to quit. I just declared with my mouth and said, it's all working out in my favor. I don't know how I'm going to be a franchise owner and purchase this franchise. But I know God will make a way. And I started praying that God would bless me with a deposit to deposit and just start it on my own and see how things would go. Not only did God bless me with the deposit, when I took the step I was able to purchase the franchise cash without being in debt for it. God made a way. Cash. And I own the franchise 100%. 100%. Mariam Shoemate, baby. Franchise owner. Dream vacation specialist. Y'all, I am so grateful. I have my certificate. I am just so amazed at what God has done because this is God. The way God blew my mind, July 17th, 2023 was when it all began. That was the day I took that step. The day I found out what they offered the franchise to me for. And it was an unbelievable price. Unbelievable price. I had the full amount to pay in cash, y'all. I don't know what you're trusting God for, but I promise you, Everything is working out in your favor, but you got to declare it with your mouth and don't give up and don't allow the, the um, disappointments and the frustrations to, to intimidate you because the enemy is always trying to intimidate us by the failures and the setbacks that we experience. 
so that we will not keep taking steps towards what we've asked God for. But see, I know better. I've been beat down and crushed, but I still get back up. The Bible says if I fall down seven times, I will get back up. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm very persistent. I refused to give up. I refused. I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give up. And I just kept going, kept moving forward. Now I'm a franchise owner. Y'all, I'm a franchise owner. So my business is 100% mine. I'm no longer an associate. What an upgrade. This is one of the biggest things that's ever happened to me in my career. It is. Anyways, I give God glory because... In spite of the fact that the plans I had for the summer to take my kids to Nigeria and everything, it seemed like it didn't work out. Something else came out of the summer for me. My career, God just blew my mind with how he worked everything out for me. Now I'm a whole boss, y'all. So when you see me posting about vacations, dream vacations, and different testimonials about my clients and their experiences... Just know that I'm excited. I'm just experiencing the glory of God in my life, being a business owner, a whole franchise owner, y'all. It's like the McDonald's, you know, McDonald's, how you have our Chick-fil-A, how you have Chick-fil-A, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Fast food all over, all over the Southern states, right? Although the business was founded by somebody else. But different independent business owners own the franchise you see in different communities. So I'm like a franchise owner. I'm like, this is so big for me, y'all. I'm so excited. But anyway, something good came out of all of the disappointments and the rejections and the setbacks that I experienced. And I'm excited. Nigeria is still going to happen. Once I get that passport in my hands, a whole lot of things will begin to happen for me and the kids. Being a travel agent and a franchise owner, I have opportunities to travel, to go on cruises, to do different things for my kids. You know what I mean? God is faithful. God is faithful. So I still am going to film the docuseries. I still am going to raise funds for it and have it sponsored. At the, in the meantime, I'm still waiting on the passport. I'm still trusting God. But while I'm waiting, I'm still busy. I'm not just sitting down getting all frustrated. I'm busy. I have a travel business that I'm running. I got things that I'm going after. I'm not keeping my mind in a place of dryness to allow the enemy to start messing with my mind, making me feel like, oh my God, it ain't happy. You don't have the passport. It's delayed. I feel bad. No, I'm not going to feel bad, baby. I got so much going that I'm not going to get frustrated over something that seems like it's being delayed because I know all things are always working together for my good. God has a hand in it. So I don't know what you're going through listening to me right now. Whatever may seem like it's been delayed, that it's not your fault. It's not like you have something you need to do on your part. You've done everything you need to do on your part, but somebody else's hand who needs to place a stamp on something or figure something out for you, that is the last part that you're waiting for. And it seems like things have been delayed and you are at the verge of giving up. Don't give up. Begin to declare the word. All things are working together for my good. This is all working out for my good. God knows why and God has the final say. And the final say is that I am victorious. Because I have a God who never fails me. So I want to encourage you today. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Always trust in the Lord. Always hold on to God and declare his word, his promises over your life. Y'all, Yo, that's what I do. I don't just sit around and just wait for things to happen or just speak negativity. No, 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 no. I know better than to do that, y'all. I lived in hell for years. I experienced so much degradation and all kinds of mess. But then I came out of the fire like a phoenix, baby. I said, God, you who created me and saw me through all of this mess, you will never forsake me. So I give you permission to use this for your glory. Blow my mind. And God blew my mind. My mind is blown as to how I was able to purchase a whole franchise without having to go into credit card debt or into partnership with people, which I wanted to do, but God was saving me. Rejection was God's protection. Y'all not, I understand the, the power, the beauty, and the importance of Pastor Kim's words. She said rejection was, was God's protection. She always says it. And it's become like, it's become a living thing in my life. I felt devastated. I was, I was depressed, y'all, for a second. 
But, I, but then I, did, I realized, you know what? God knows what he's doing. The reason why I couldn't get these people to partner up with me and things didn't work out the way that I wanted it to is because God's protecting me from something. God's protecting me from something. And right here, I see why it didn't work out. God already took care of it. God already made a way. All I needed to do was just keep moving forward. Keep taking that step, not give up. Keep taking that step. Keep showing up. Keep doing my best and being my best. And when the time came, I took that leap of faith. It was paid for in cash. And I own my business 100%, y'all. I don't know about you, but God always blows my mind because I refuse to give up. When things seem like they're going crazy, like everything is falling apart, I just know there's a miracle in that. And that miracle is God is going to turn it around and blow my mind. It's not going to end the way the enemy expects it to end. It always ends in victory because Christ already gave me the victory. So I don't know about you and what you're trusting God for. I want you to know that Christ already gave you the victory. Greater is he who is for you, with you, and in you than he who is in the world. But you got to get up. You can't sit there and allow the spirit to do the things that he can use you to do, y'all. Like me, I don't preach all these things and just sit down and do nothing. I go out there. I go out there and I do my part. I put action to my words and my faith, y'all. The Bible says faith without works is useless. The last thing you would ever find me doing is sit down and not do nothing. In fact, the area that God is working on me on is overdoing. Because you will always, if you need, if you're looking for somebody who will put the effort towards whatever it is that they desire, that's me. Effort, baby. I put in the effort. If it fails after I put in the effort, now like, you know what, God, I've tried everything I know how. So I need you to just show up and do what you can do. And God has blown my mind. Don't give up. Whatever your situation may be, whatever your situation may be, don't give up. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, all your might, all your soul, with everything that is within you. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all that ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. God has blown my mind. I planned, I thought about how I was going to pay back the loan or the debt that I was going to go into to purchase a franchise. I thought about many scenarios in my head, what was going to happen if I was going to lose sleep. But then I said, God, I, I would prefer to buy it with cash and not go into debt. I don't know how you're going to do it, but make a way. God made a way. I purchased my franchise. Cash. Less than I thought I could have. Less than I thought. Less than the deposit even required. If I tell you to trust in the Lord and just put your hope in God and let God do it, Believe me, because I'm in awe. I don't just preach stuff. I'm living proof that when you trust in the Lord and you put everything in God's hands, miracles happen. My mind is blown. And I'm in this, I'm in this wind, this wind of possibilities, of beautiful, amazing, unbelievable things happening. And I say, God, any boundaries or preconceived plans I have about anything that's got my mind set on how something is going to work out for me, that is actually blocking you from showing up in a beautiful way in my life, Father, break down that wall, burn it. Any kind of negative boundaries keeping me from seeing you do miracles and beautiful things in my life, anything that I'm standing in the way of that you want to do for me, God, remove me out of the way. Whatever it is that I'm doing that is blocking that blessing, Lord, take it away from me. And let your blessings blow my mind because I'm open to what you want to do. Do it. Do it. Do it. So I don't know who you are listening to me right now. You've already set a plan for your life. You're, you're like an architect. You've designed how you want your life to be. And you have this and you have that. And things are not working out the way that you want them to. And you are so frustrated and so depressed because everything that you've designed, nothing has worked out. Could it be that God has a better plan? Could it be that your plan is obstructing God's plan? And as long as your plan is obstructing God's plan, you'll be miserable. Because God has a way, a better way, a far easier, better way, a mind-blowing way to bring your dreams to pass. 
but your heart and mind and soul is so set on a certain way, it has to come to pass. But see, you don't see the whole picture. You only see a little bit of it. But God sees the full picture. Just surrender. Surrender like I did. And watch miracles begin to show up in your life. Watch God turn it around and blow your mind. Get ready for something extraordinary. Because I'm ready for something extraordinary. Anyways, you guys, I hope this video blessed you in some way. Encouraged you. Celebrate with me, y'all. Say congratulations, Mariam, on being a franchise owner. And guess who named my business? Zoe. When I was thinking about what I'm going to name it for my website, Zoe said, Mar Mama, let's name it Mariam's Joyful Life Fun Tours. So here you go, you guys. Mariam's Joyful Life Fun Tours. This is all to the glory of God. Now, let me correct something I said earlier. I, I, searched, I said I searched for partners and it all failed. But then now I own it 100% with no partners and paid off in cash. Guys, actually, Jesus is my partner. The Lord Jesus is my partner in this. And through him, we own this business 100%. When you make God your partner, all things are possible. Miraculous, beautiful, amazing things that will make your life so sweet that you won't lose sleep over will begin to happen. I encourage you today, trust in God. Be of good courage and he shall direct your path. All right, you guys? In the meantime, the update is we're still going to Nigeria. We have to have passport in our hands, right? So God is faithful. I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to let the devil steal my joy because God has been good. Although this one thing didn't work out like I thought, I know God has a hand in it. All right? And it's going to happen. And the videos will be so beautiful. The docu-series will be so amazing. And you guys are going to love it. You're going to love it. I'm going to love the experience. And I know you guys are too. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, you subscribe, you come back for more. The um, fundraiser link is still going to be in the description box below so you guys can keep supporting. Those of you who want to support and be a part of it, I'm still raising funds for the docu-series. So you guys, make sure you check it out today. All right? I appreciate every one of you for watching. Have a great day. God has the final say. Bye, everybody.